I'm Anil Kumar. Let me welcome the new members and subscribers and thank all the viewers for posting a brilliant questions and enriching this YouTube channel. Here is another good question from our subscriber. I hope many of you will benefit from it. Now here is a linear equation where we have fractions and these fractions have denominators which are prime numbers. That means there is nothing common between those. We also have to add fractions with whole numbers. So that makes it even more complicated. Let us see how to solve it. Now when it is already such a complicated case to solve, what we should do is that we should keep the numbers together and the variables together. So let me begin by rearranging the equation. So we have the equation as minus 8 over 5k. We'll bring that part minus 4 over 7k to the left side. So that comes with a positive sign. The sign changes, right? And the fraction part 2 over 3 will take it to the right hand side. So it becomes 2 minus 2 over 3. So separately, we'll add left and right hand sides. Left side, we have the variable k. Now 7 and 5 are your denominators. So the common denominator is 35. So we can take a common denominator of 7 times 5, which is 35. To get 35, I have to multiply numerator and denominator by 7, right? So this 8 gets multiplied by 7. So 8 times 7 is 56. So we get minus 56k. On this side, 5 gets multiplied with 4. So we get plus 20k. Correct? On the right hand side, we have a common denominator of 3. 2 is a whole number. 2 over 1, right? So 2 gets multiplied with 3. We get 6 here. Minus 3 is already there. So minus 2. Now in the numerator, minus 56 plus 20 will give us minus 36. So we have minus 36k divided by 35. On the right side, 6 minus 2 is 4. So we get 4 over 3. Now we can again cross multiply to get what k is. So k will be equal to 4 over 3 times 35 over 36 with a negative, right? 35 over 36. And let me write this negative uh, outside here. So this negative has come because of this minus 36. You can simplify at this stage dividing 4 and 36. 4 goes 1 times and 9 times with 36. So that leaves you with a value of negative 35 in the numerator and 3 times 9, which is 27, in the denominator. Do you get the idea? So that is how you could actually solve this question. So I'll write down my answer here as k is equal to minus 35 over 27. Is that clear to you? Right. So that is probably the simplest way of solving this particular equation. So my suggestion is do not try them all together. Right. In that case, the common denominator will be 5 times 3 times 7, which is a big number, right? 21 times 5. Instead, you could bring the variables together and the numbers together to solve. So that should help you. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write a comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.